Time once again for a breaking news edition of the Bama Online Podcast. This one on a Tuesday, August the 8th, 2023. Travis Ryer, Senior Analyst for BamaOnline.com, alongside site publisher Tim Watts. And Tim, Alabama goes back to Cali for a defensive back, and not just a four-star safety in Peyton Woodyard, but a player, a highly coveted prospect who had previously committed to the University of Georgia. Yeah, Woodyard's been a uh, commitment. Peyton Woodyard's been a commitment to Georgia for some time now. He's been there six, seven, eight times on visits. But you know what's interesting? Alabama's remained in this process for a long time. We've reported, me, Andrew Bone, Joseph Hastings, we've reported how involved Alabama's been. Um, I think a lot of people were kind of just waiting to see what would happen now the the one of the common thoughts was that if he did flip to Alabama it was going to be because he was uh cuz Georgia had committed five star KJ Bolden obviously that was misinformation that was being spread also it made no sense because if you're scared of KJ Bolden then you're certainly scared of Caleb Downs right <laughs> i mean <laughs> safeties there's a multiple you know defensive backs on the field multiple safeties so Extremely talented guy. Got the flip from Georgia. Georgia's been trying to hold on to him the last last couple of months. It's kind of not trending away, but I think they were having to work it uh, pretty closely to keep him. And then finally, he just made up his mind to flip. He was at Alabama on an unofficial visit um, on 623. Alabama actually got his last unofficial, and he also visited Ohio State, Georgia, and Southern Cal. So, you know, it's a guy that's got some really good – defensive back schools because when you think of defensive back you kind of think bama georgia usc ohio state right now absolutely the nation's number four safety prospect for the 2024 cycle according to the on three industry ranking you watch tape of this guy and he makes plays on the ball from the middle of the field tim you see him diagnose run quickly and fills the alley with emphasis gets the job done as a tackler he comes off the hash in one clip to make a breakup of a deep pass, and that was a game against modern day. So you know, right, the competition this guy goes against in the state of California is very, very good. Zone coverage, he makes some plays, uh, jumps a crossing route, reading the eyes of the quarterback. Uh, a lot of good stuff when you watch Peyton Woodyard on tape. Yeah, and again, going back to it earlier, you don't get offers. You don't become priority targets for – Ryan Day, Nick Saban, and Kirby Smart without a skill set, you know. And again, like you said, his film, but he's been a big name for a while. I think he camped at Alabama before his junior year. Uh, that's when they offered, um, had all, you know, basically he's the kind of guy that could name his school. Uh, but you're right, a lot of versatility. He's not shy. He's not scared of being physical. Uh, I know he had a relationship with Zabian, who has committed to Alabama, the cornerback from uh like you said, Matter Day, Zabian Brown, they, you know, they've had a relationship together. So there's a lot of little things working, but tip of the hat to Hallman Wiggins. We've heard his name a lot this year. He's been very active. Um, and, you know, when a, when a guy you like commits to another school, you got to you got to be patient and just kind of keep working that trying to, you know, make sure he doesn't shut the door and build a relationship. And uh, although he was committed to Georgia, I think Alabama did a good job of just kind of feeding him and uh, working that. And uh, Hallman, obviously, you know, T-Rob's heavily involved with anybody in the secondary. So Alabama staff did a really good job right here. Yeah, a guy who's very impressive, Woodyard, in terms of primary areas of safety play. He sinks down into the box, gives you that extra presence. Uh, on rundowns, but again, from the deep middle of the field, makes play, shows a SEC caliber range in that regard, and, uh, and I think all that also means is a guy who could translate to those sub package roles like star, maybe money. So uh, the versatility that you just talked about evident in his uh, in his uh, videos. Sure. So yeah, and it's important. I mean, you're looking at this class, and it's heavy with cornerbacks. You've got. You know, Jalen Mbakwe, I think everybody loves him. Zabian Brown, one of the best corners in the country. Uh, Jameer Grimsley, you know, he's kind of that guy you're talking about with some position flexibility. But they don't really have a true safety in this class. And I know that was a priority for them. Trying to land one, you want to add a little – you want to add a safety every class, right? It's almost like wide receiver, whether it's a priority. But it has to be a guy you really like. And I think Peyton Woodard is right up there at the top of the board for him. Absolutely. So we talk about how this class is taking shape now, and it is very much coming into focus here. Uh, where do you see Alabama going next? Is it uh, kind of up in the air? Could it be any number of spots? 
Yeah, I just think that this class, now they're at the stage, you've seen it kind of set. You've seen a little bit at everything. I mean, I know they still want to hit the defensive line harder, still looking for an offensive tackle. I mean, they've still got some guys like that. But, I mean, overall, they've it's pretty – pretty even killed across the board. I mean, I know some Alabama fans have been a little disappointed. Um, I'm not sure why this is a good class. I mean, there's a, you know, for a June, July class, I think a lot of it comes back to the recruiting rankings. You have guys that are three stars that I don't believe by any chance will be three stars when it gets to December. Um, and you have other guys that have a chance to increase, increase their value as the season goes on. But Winter's a guy, I think we all know who he is. <laughs> we know what he was. Um, you know, again, you go back to the schools pursuing him. You go back to the film, everything that he's got going for him. But overall, the class is pretty complete from A to Z. You know, you start at your quarterback. You work it to the back end of the, you know, the secondary. And I think Woodyard adds a safety that they didn't have. I um, think it's possible they still could add another one, maybe a guy that's a little bit flexible, like you said, uh, you know, a guy that could fill in at star, could move around a little bit, maybe a guy that gets a look, maybe like Malachi with, uh, you know, a little bit of corner, a little bit of safety, a little bit of star. So I think the class has done really well so far. Yeah, utility DB perhaps could yeah. still be out there for this class. Yeah, and we're seeing that a lot. I mean, we're seeing it like on the offensive line where you see the guys come in who you might project him at center or guard or whatever, but you're seeing him play tackle. You're seeing him play multiple positions on the offensive line. And as we've discussed on many podcasts, it's very important to have that position flexibility simply because if the guard position has gone, you can move to center. If you can play center, you want to have as many hats in the ring as you possibly can. And that's what uh, guys with that kind of talent does. But again, just, you know, you look at the staff, they've chipped away and they have a habit, you know, June, July is probably not the best gauge for how well Alabama recruits. We've seen them in November, December, January, February, before the signing periods. That's where they really shine. But as far as where they stand right now, I think they've done an excellent job. So Peyton Woodyard checks all the boxes. Talk about critical factors. We hear that from Nick Saban, six foot one, 200 pound safety. You look at again at the background, the development that he is undergone at a program like St. John Bosco out there in California. You know that's going to be in a good place by the time he arrives at Alabama. And uh, what do you think, Tim? Uh, you think we're going to be doing another one of these here pretty soon? Yeah, I think we will. I mean, once the season gets here, recruiting seems to slow down a little bit for Alabama. Not that they stop recruiting, just simply that, you know, they're they're kind of keeping up with the ones they've got, working some more trying to finish off with some of the visitors. But, yeah, I think uh, I don't think you and I will be strangers for long. <laughs> the news right now, though, involves Peyton Woodyard, four-star safety from Bellflower, California, St. John Bosco out there, traditional power on the West Coast, and the Alabama strikes again out in the state of California. Tim, look forward to doing it again soon. All right, man. We'll talk to you soon, buddy. And we'll be on the roundtable there at BamaOnline.com. You can come hang out with us on the premium message board of choice for Alabama fans around the globe. BamaOnline.com. We're going to have you covered with Tim Watts, with Andrew Bone, with Joseph Hastings. And then from the team perspective, Charlie Potter, Clint Lamb, Jimmy Stein, myself. We got you right now at BamaOnline.com. Until next time, everybody. So long.